hey how's going on youtube welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize rainbow six each x for better performance get better fps and fix all kind of lags and setters so make sure to stick around at the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings onto your pc and once you're over here come over to personalization head over to colors and disable transparency effects this will disallow your windows and surfaces appear translucent disabling unwanted animations on your pc then click on gaming head over to game bar and turn this thing off since it is an overlay service it runs in the background and it consumes your cpu and ram usage simply disable that head back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this one on it will help you optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background then click on the graphic settings underneath and enable optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to reduce input latency and help you optimize your games then click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accepted gpu scheduling as this will help you to prioritize your gpu to the game once that is done you have to find rainbow six siege on your pc a simple way to do it is heading over to your steam right clicking on your game then click on manage and select browse local files this will take you to the download location of your game simply copy this file path and close it select add desktop app button over here and paste the file path and press enter select rainbow 6.exe and click on the add button once that is added scroll down to find it select it and then you wanna have to set your gpu preference to high performance just like that next step is compatibility settings and for that you have to go to the same location which you have your game installed on simply come over here scroll down to find rainbow right click on your game head over to properties select compatibility and click on disable full screen optimization click on change high dpi settings select this option click on ok and then apply once that is done simply close this folder next step is disabling background applications and for that you have to search for edit group policy on your pc and open it up this step will only be available for windows pro users as you over here double click on computer configuration administrative templates windows components and then app privacy here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to pin it up and then you have to make sure that this is set to enabled then default for all applications should be set to force deny and click on apply this will disallow all of the applications running in the background and that is how you do it in windows 11 but before moving ahead i want to introduce you guys to Aegis voice wave which is absolutely amazing voice changer it is a real-time ai voice changer for gamers streamers and everybody else you guys can come to the link in the description below and download it for free it supports a ton of games and it has a ton of features over here once you open up the application it has more than 350 voices to choose from and you can also switch between performance priority and voice quality priority depending upon if you want to use it for real time or if you want to use it for post production you can simply select any voice such as cristiano ronaldo over here and adjust your volume and the pitch to sound more lifelike and here is how i sound like as cristiano ronaldo the voice is absolutely amazing it is stutter free and the switching is also very simple let's say i want to speak as a ghost just with one click, I can switch my voice with a perfect pitch and the perfect volume. Apart from that, it has an inbuilt voice changer where you can upload a file or you guys can record your sound right into the application to change your own voice. Simply come to the settings and all you have to do is select your microphone, add your headphones and you're good to go. There's a Christmas sale going on at Aesis where you can get up to 68% off on Aesis voice wave. Simply come to the link in the description below and copy and redeem this code to get yourself the voice changer at an absolute discounted rate. Make sure you guys go check out Isis Voice Wave for absolutely free from link in the description below. Next step is disabling memory integrity on your PC. Now this is very controversial but it helps a lot of you guys. For that simply open up settings again and this time you have to search for core isolation. Select this and once you're over here you have to disable memory integrity. This will make your device a little bit vulnerable from attacks but this service utilizes up to 20% of your CPU resources in the background. You do not want this on while gaming so simply turn it off and then you can turn it back on once you're done with your gaming session. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once here select local disk C click on the create button and name it R6X so you can remember it. I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done simply click on close and close system properties. The next step is the Rainbow 6X FPS pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It has five 
simple folders which will help you optimize your game. First one is CPU priority in which I have left Intel and AMD CPU priority. You can accordingly apply it to your PC. If you have an Intel CPU, you can do that. Simply double click to apply this and it will apply the best setting possible for your processor. Second one is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your system's RAM. You can apply it by simply searching for system information and then looking at the installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me over here. Double click to apply this. I have already done it. And once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default. Third folder here is the R6X priority in which I have left above normal, high priority, and normal priority. You can leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless and disabling them will help you to get rid of unwanted usage of your CPU resources. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, skip them and disable every single one of them over here. And once again, you can always revert them back using this folder here. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files dot batch, right click and then when it is administrator. Once it opens up, press enter. This will delete all temporary files from your PC and I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0, right click and then when it is administrator. Once you're over here, select your graphic card, click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, select high. Click on the apply button after that and this will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts more optimally. Third is pro PC optimizer. It comes within the FPS pack. You can simply double click to open it up, give it the administrative permissions and it will take you to the screen like this. This optimizer is one click optimizer and helps you to single handedly optimize the performance of your PC. Press enter and then press enter once again and this will start creating a restore point within itself. Allow it a while and then it will ask you to press enter once again and that's when it applies all of the best network settings, mouse and keyboard settings, PC optimization settings, simply press enter and all of them will be done accordingly. You can go to the link in the description below for the Pro PC Optimizer and this is the official page where you can download the latest version of the Pro PC Optimizer. It shows you all of the tweaks that they have and everything that it is going to change in the background. You can see all of that over here. So it is where you can track the updates. And last but not the least is the quick CPU setup file. You have to install it and then open quick CPU. Once it opens up, the process up ahead is very simple. For the power plan, you have to select ultimate performance, which should be added if you have run the Pro PC optimizer. Then you have to change the core parking index, frequency scaling, turbo boosted performance up to 100% and make sure that this AC button is available. If not, you can skip it. But if it is available, simply turn it on, click on the apply button and this will allow your CPU to run on full throttle without any sleeping or core parking which will help you to get best performance while you're playing the games. Once that is done, simply close it and close the FPS pack. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and other network related issues using no ping. I have left a free download link to no ping right in the description below. Once you open it up, you guys will see an interface like this where you'll find all of your games installed. It has a library of more than 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for Rainbow Six Siege over here and select it. It will then show you the server with the lowest amount of ping. Simply select it, click on optimize the game and select automatically optimize. Once you're done applying that, it will boost your game. Not just that, it also has the boost FPS section where it has all of these options that helps you optimize the performance of your PC and get extra FPS. You can apply these settings over here as well. Once again, no ping has a Christmas sale going on right now. So you guys can go to the link in the description below and try it for absolutely free for three days, or you can get a subscription for much cheaper. Don't forget to check out no ping from the link in the description below. Next up is disabling sysmin. And for that, simply search for services on your PC. And once you're over here, select S on your keyboard and find sysmin, which should be over here. Double click to open it up and the startup type should be set to disable. And if this service is already running, you have to stop it and click on OK. Sysmain is nothing but prefetch, but it keeps running in the background using up to 15% of your CPU and RAM resources and you don't want them. So simply turn this thing off. It's not very useful as well. So disabling that would not be affecting your system performance in any means. Once all of that is done, you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. OK, once you're in your game, head over to settings and then click on options. Over here, head over to display settings and then for the display adapter, make sure you're selecting your graphic card. For the resolution, you can go with your native monitor resolution. Display mode, I'll always recommend you guys to go with full screen. Refresh rate, go with the highest available for your monitor. Aspect ratio should be set to auto, vsync off, frame rate limit off and widescreen letterbox off. After that, head over to graphics, Nvidia reflex low latency. If this is available for you, go with on plus boost. Overall quality, I've gone with custom. For the texture quality, you guys can go with high, texture VRAM limit above normal, texture filtering, go with anisotropic 2x, 
LOD quality go with medium, shading quality low, shadow quality medium, reflections quality low, VFX quality high, ambient occlusion off, lens effects go with off, zoom in depth of field off, NVIDIA deep learning super sampling I have gone with quality but you guys can go with balanced performance if you have an NVIDIA based graphics or use FSR 2.0 for AMD based graphics. Once all of that is done click on the apply button over here and now you guys can drop into the game with the highest FPS possible. So guys that was it for this video I hope I could have helped you out if I could have make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and your support would definitely appreciate me. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.